guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Alpha J S Valleja, and I am Jeremy B Gal from Ritual Block Three Virgo of Humanities, humanities and Social, social sciences. sciences. And for today's vlog, we are going to make a short video about effectivity of first aid for musculoskeletal. People dance for a variety of reasons: for fun, for recreation, and for health. Dance can be social or perform for an audience, it can also be ceremonial or competitive. However, the range of body movements, repetition, and speed of movement can put you at risk of an injury, particularly if you are not learning from unfamiliar steps. You can help reduce your risk of injury by being aware of some of these risk factors. What are the risk factors in dancing? Includes inexperience, poor fitness, poor technique, poor posture, fatigue, hazardous environment, overtraining, and failure to rest and injury. There are two types of musculoskeletal injuries acute and chronic. First, the acute injuries are usually the one traumatic event. Common examples of this include wrist fractures, ankle sprains, shoulder dislocations, and hamstrings muscle sprain. Second, the chronic injuries are a lot common than acute injuries. They are the result of repetitive trauma to the tendons, bones, and joints. Common examples of this include tennis elbow, swimmer shoulder, Runner's knee and jumper's knee, Achilles tendonitis, and shin splints. The purpose of this video is to teach and remind dancers out there by being aware of some of these risk factors.